I don't want him in my house no more. I could feel that there's a definite presence here, but he doesn't want to stay. He wants to move on. You two are heaven sent. We're just doing our jobs. God bless you. Where is the spirit? I hear him in the attic. I better check for um, spirit residue. Bring my spirit spray. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a squirrel. Ew. I know. Uh, I don't think he's here right now, but there's turds all over the place, and there's a big hole right by the chimney. All right, well, fix the hole and clean up the poo, and I'll take care of the old loon. Why do I always clean the poo? Would you rather pray with her? I'm going to go clean the poo. The spirit residing here, it's more afraid of you than you are of it. Like bees. Sure. That's why I need your help. This cross here was blessed by the Pope himself. I want you to put your hands on this and repeat after me. Spirit residing in this house. Spirit residing in this house. No one is welcome, not even a mouse. No one is welcome, not even a mouse. I've heard you in the night. I have heard you in the night. Be gone giving me fright. Be gone giving me fright. What is that? God damn it. It's the spirit. Fucking Kate. It's leaving. Bitch. That was easy. Yeah, says you. I got squirrel turds in my hair. Why do your prayers always rhyme? I didn't realize that was a crime. You see what I did there? That was a crime. What are we gonna do with Garrett? Who? The squirrel, I named him. You're sick. Seriously, something wrong with you. Seamus, how's it going, man? Yeah, congratulations to you and your nephew. 26 strikeouts, six inning game. Yeah, I didn't even know that was possible. No mercy rule, I guess. Um, about the money, uh, I know I still owe you from the last one. I know. Um, how about I? How about Tuesday, man? I can get you with it Tuesday. No, I can't do Saturday. I can do nothing for you Saturday, man. I got nothing coming in until Sunday. Well, Seamus, if you could find someone else who's gonna take bets on a little league game, you're more than welcome to take your business elsewhere, man. No, there's no need for that. No, 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 no need for that. Uh, what about? Let me give you half on Monday, Seamus, and I'll... Seamus? Hello? Shit. You're late. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. I couldn't find the uh, reference section. You have to be the most incompetent person I have ever met. What? Listen to you, uh, you have those fake ideas that you told me. Shh. Listen. 
Alex and Jordy paying attention. Focus. If you're late ever again, we're done. Okay, I'm really sorry about this. I, I don't usually come to like libraries, you know? It's library, and maybe you should take out a book sometime. Might do some good. Curious George, you can start there, work your way up. Whoa. Hey. Hey. You got the money, right? For the Rolexes? What's the matter with you? You look nervous. You're not gonna go flake on me, are you? No, no, I just don't know where I'm gonna sell these. You're a bright kid, you'll figure it out. You sure this is gonna work? Yeah, do what I do. You blame it on a colored kid. That way you make money, I make money, everybody's happy. Why's he gotta be a black kid? Cause you're white. Seems a little racist. What am I supposed to tell him? Some jugundo white kid with a flannel shirt robbed me? Black kid. Yankees cap. Yankee cap. Good touch. I hear my name being whispered over and over. It's like, can't focus. I fantasize about killing the neighbor's cat, but that's only because she accused me of killing her cat once, so I only think it's fair. I don't talk to mom anymore. I mean, she claims she left because my dad was too controlling, only to elope with a Muslim who doesn't allow her to leave the house without his permission. My dad left when I was 16. My mom was already gone. So I was by myself at 16, taking care of the house and bills. People were always coming over, looking for my dad, threatening my life. I had to booby trap the entire house. It was like that movie Home Alone, but my booby traps were lethal, so it wasn't as funny. I'm having a hard time discerning reality from my dreams, like that movie Inception, but I'm not skiing down a mountain with a machine gun. That would be awesome. Instead, I'm just having conversations. And it's difficult for me to hold a job because of my panic attacks and my temper. The last job I had, I cut myself on purpose just because I wanted to go home. Do you wanna see the scar? And my dad says all these pills I'm taking are messing with my brain chemicals. He lectured me for two hours while he was drinking scotch and smoking a joint, so... I think the drugs are helping. I think the drugs are helping. 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 Dan, you must be really good at pretending to be crazy. Pretending. Rough day at the office? Same old, how to go with you today? It's fine. I have some good news and I have some bad news. What's the bad news? My brother's moving in. What? Temporarily. Didn't he kill somebody? Manslaughter, it could happen to anyone. Isn't he like a drug addict? Yes, he cannot know we have any drugs in the house. But we sell drugs, Kate. We're drug dealers. Not really. I mean, just because we sell drugs every once in a blue moon doesn't mean we're drug dealers. When was the last time you saw a blue moon? I don't know. It's just what people say. Now, when was the last time you sold drugs? Look, it's just going to be a few nights, probably a few weeks. I would say two months tops. What's the good news? I don't have any. Then why did you say that? I don't know, it's just what people say. Yeah, when they have both forms of news. I don't think so. Doesn't matter what you think, that's why people say it, because they have both good and bad news. I think you're taking it too literally. Like, if a doctor walks into a patient's room and he's like, I have good news and I have bad news. Bad news, you have cancer. Good news, you're not gonna grow old. How is that good news? It's not, but it will make them feel better. Telling people they're not gonna grow old due to their cancer is not gonna make them feel better, Kate. It'll make me feel better. Why can't he stay with your dad? My dad won't have him. My brother's a psychopath. Oh, oh, so have him come stay here with us. Do I have to remind you that we make our living doing various illegal things? You really think it's a good idea to have your crazy convict brother come live with us? It's gonna be fine, Chris. You'll see. Didn't he kill somebody? Didn't he kill somebody? Didn't he kill somebody? Manslaughter. Manslaughter. My brother's a psychopath.
How much did you pay for those pants? They were like $100, I guess. You paid $100 for jeans? I have teeth that are cheaper than those pants. Do you have to have them insured or something? No. Can I touch them? No. Kate! Oh, Kate! Oh, Kate! Jake, you look the same, pretty much. Thanks! I gave up gluten. I like what you did with the place. You didn't change a thing. That's good, because I hate change. You're early, no? Well, it's noon. I thought I'd let you sleep in. Chris said you had a really rough day at work. So great you're teaching retard kids. I think the term is developmentally challenged. Oh, okay. Because Chris said you work with retard kids. Guys, I hate to interrupt this family reunion, but uh, Kate, can I have a word with you real quick? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll just hang out here. I'm gonna keep my pants on because I feel that's appropriate. What the hell, Kate? When were you gonna tell me that your psycho schizo murderer brother was coming to stay with us? Are you guys gonna finish that sponge? Manslaughter. We went through this. What the hell are you talking about? You were cool with it last night. We didn't talk about this last night, Kate, or ever. When you got home from work... When I got home from work, you were passed out on the couch. Rough day at the office? I should tell you, Chris. Tell me what? I killed the neighbor's cat. I thought I just dreamed the part when you got stabbed. Kate, are you taking sleeping pills again? Jesus Christ. And in this imaginary dream world, you can just tell me the night before that your brother's gonna stay with us and I'll be okay with that? Back off. Where's he supposed to go? Tell him to go with your dad. No. My dad won't have him. My dad hates him. Why? Because he's, he's not even my dad's real son. My mom had an affair. Call your dad. Tell him to take him in. I no. That my dad hates him. Jake stabbed my dad once. Oh, oh, so have him stay here with us. Do I need to remind you that we run a series of sketchy and illegal businesses out of this place? He needs to go. Look, Chris, in my dream, you gave me like the exact same rant. You're very predictable, really. I just, I don't really feel like going through this again. Well, this is real life. This is our house, okay? Did you really kill that cat? Hey, I was just wondering, what's your favorite Power Ranger? I like any of the ethnic ones. Um, Chris was just saying how he's gonna take a shower, then he has some clothes that he could lend you. Aw, oh, thanks, bro. No problem, man. So the guy Chris seems like a cool dude. He is. How'd you guys meet? In college. Oh, cool. Did you major in the same thing? Like, teaching retard kids? You're the one poaching my clients? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. Same price, better grades. I get it. It's a good deal. I'm here to propose a partnership. I don't work with others. Well, you're going to work with me, considering I know you don't go to this school. Something like that. Developmentally challenged. That's right. Apples, tomatoes, right? So, do you still talk to mom? Not really. Jess? Almost never. Father? On the first of the month, when rent is due. Oh. So, how long do you think you'll be staying? Well, this guy I met in prison, Spider, uh, he's going to be hooking me up with a job. So, I don't have to be here that long. As soon as I have some money, I swear. I've really changed, alright? I'm not the same guy I was five years ago. I'm off my meds. Spider's really helped me out. Spider? Does he have a tattoo of a spider on his neck? Yes! Did you meet him? No. That just seems sort of cliche. Yeah, well, Spider's pretty cool. He's been like a big brother and has really changed me. He's, he's kind of like, I found Jesus, but not Jesus. Spider? Ah, I totally understand that. Oh, check this out. I got this tattoo. It's pretty cool, right? It's the date I met my wife. You're married? No. Uh, this is the day I met this girl that I fell in love with. 
So I wrote down the day I met her, so when I do meet her and we get married, I can remember what day I met her. Yes, that's very romantic. Yeah. Jake, have you ever seen the movie Schindler's List? No! You're like the third person to ask me that. Is it good? I'm really not into rom-coms. So, I'm gonna need you to entertain Jake today. What? Why? I have to work. Doing what? Dog whispering. <laughs> You're still doing that? Yeah, it's like the best job ever. You just tell them that their dog wants them to stop buying food from the dollar store. Are you lying to me? Maybe. I have to take care of something. It's really important. What am I supposed to do with him? I don't know. Go to the movies, get ice cream. Just try not to upset him. He can drive. That's a plus. Mm. Um, but don't let him know we have any guns. What guns? Never mind. So that's awesome. Like you go to every game? No, no. I, uh... I make games more interesting for people. I always knew there was some kind of rat bastard like you behind a laptop, you know, jacking up your scalp ticket prices. No, no, I don't scalp tickets. I'm a bookie. You know, bets and collections. I love collections, man. I still have all my original Pokemon cards in mint condition. It's a good way to make money, right? It's supposed to be. It's not always easy. Definitely wasn't easy to start. Actually, your sister helped out a lot with the yeah, money on that. Where'd she get money? You are really tense around me, bro. You gotta learn to relax. Let go. Spider told me how to relax. This isn't relaxing, man. Not at all. What if I did this? So, uh, why can't you drive? All right, here's what happened. Sir, have you been drinking? Oh shit, it's the village people! License and registration, please. Sir, this is a taco. Oh, thanks! Wow, that's pretty awesome. I wish we could see that in a flashback. Uh, that'd be good. I'm lactose intolerant. Jess? Kate? What's this about? You know. No, really. I don't. You only show up when there's money to be had, and there isn't, so what is this about? I know he's back and living with you. Temporarily. How'd you find out? Mom told me. Have you told Dad? Why don't you ask him yourself? Oh, that's right. He hates you because you stole money from him. I stole money from him that he stole. Does he know he's staying with you? Cut the crap, Jess. What is this about? I'm putting Jake back in jail. What? I joined the prosecuting team of the victim he murdered. Manslaughter. Isn't there a rule against that or something? I mean, he's your brother. <laughs> Half brother. I'm the lawyer. Leave the rules to me. Can I get you ladies anything? Yes, I would like a cappuccino that's one-third regular and two-thirds decaf. Not too much froth. Do you have any gluten-free cookies? Uh, no. Sorry. That's fine. I'll just have a water from the tap. This is low, even for you. Listen, I'm just warning you. I know there's something going on in that house. Why are you doing this? He's a psychopath. He deserves it. At least he's not a kid. So, the worst part, when he died, I didn't feel bad that he died. I kind of dreamed of him dying. So, I felt bad that I felt good about him dying. It wasn't that I killed him. I actually dreamed of killing him. The worst part is that I felt good about killing him, which was bad, you know? That made me feel like a real scumbag. And I really got into drugs. It's bad. But well, luckily, Spider helped me out, man. You know, he told me to forgive, let go. He's really amazing, Spider. He could do a somersault. A conniving evil bitch. I'm just giving you fair warning. 
This doesn't have to be a full-out family war. In fact, if you help me, there could be a reward in it for you. I would never do such a thing. How much of a reward are we talking about here? Cash. But I need a tape, a confession, a video of him doing anything illegal. Here's how this works. I'm building a case against him that is gonna put me in a great law firm. He's already done. So either you hand him over, or you go down with him. I'll think about it, Jess. It's been a pleasure talking to you, as never. Kate, it's Chris. Uh, everything's fine, just let me know when you're gonna be home. It's getting late. Please, let me know. Bye. Kate, you need to get home right now. He's losing it. I told him something. I thought he knew. Please call me back. Get home ASAP. Kate, please, you gotta get home as soon as possible. He's asking me questions about my pants. Kate, please, answer your phone. Get home. What the hell happened? He flipped out. He's flipping out. What did you do? Don't put this on me. You left him alone with me. Just, just tell me what happened. Well... Yo, it's okay if you bang my sister. What? No, I'm just saying. No. Why? She's cute. I would do it. What? Well, <laughs> if she wasn't my sister. It's still weird to say, even if she's your half-sister. What? You haven't tasted taco. It's getting cold. Jesus H. Christ, Chris. Jake? Go away! It's me, your sister. No! Why don't you just come out and we could talk about this? How long did you know? For a while. Listen, Jake, I let you back into this house because we grew up here together and that's what makes us brother and sister. Just... Remember the teachings that Spider taught you. Uh, Kate, there's someone at the door looking for your dad. God damn it. Jake, buddy. What? Uh, I kind of need those clothes back. I don't think you want them anymore. Trust me. Okay. All right. Okay. What's up? Yeah, I'm looking for your old man. He owed me some money, yo. Oh, yeah? You and everyone else. I want you guys to meet Spider. Of course. We would love to meet Spider. You know, once you meet Spider, there's no going back. Um, going, going back to what, exactly? Back to whatever! Religion, race, creed, Radiohead, whatever band you're into in the 90s. You're gonna live, breathe, and die by Spider. Well, I don't know about Kate here, but I sure am excited to meet this Spider. Spider doesn't appreciate sarcasm. He's got a big opportunity for you guys, so don't blow this! Whoa, oh, wait a second. We're not about to jump into business with some ex-con named Spider. Hey, you've been conning people since you learned to talk. I know you're not teaching retard kids. Unless teaching this kid how to con counts as teaching retard kids. Developmentally challenged. Sorry. Sorry. What is that? Spider's product. Did you bring heroin into our house? It's not heroin. I haven't invented it yet. It's not even on the market. Well, get rid of it. We're not drug dealers. You don't understand. It's not illegal. It's not even on the market yet. It's not illegal to have it, take it, or even sell it. It's perfect. Oh, well, hold on, Kate. What is it exactly? It's magical. It's got the colors of LSD, the joys of ecstasy, the taste of Pez. Every time you take it, it's like the first time you ever got high. You can't even detect it in your blood. And the best part, the green one, it turns it on. The yellow one, it turns it off. That's impossible. It's not impossible. I know you have like this love for Spider and maybe this is true, but I think that we should really think about this first, all right? Um, after all, Spider is a guy you met in prison, and I am your sister. Chris, did you just take a pill? 
Yellow. Yellow turns it off. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna take his pants. Well, Jake, it's almost two people you've murdered. Manslaughter. Manslaughter. Whatever. Remind me again why the guy who was in a coma for two weeks isn't in the wheelchair. Shut up and push. What? It's him. Who? Spider. Why do they end movies that way? It's such bullshit. So they can make 27 more paranormal activities and make a bunch of money. Yeah, and we're the scam artists. I'm going to cancel cable. We don't pay for cable. Why do I give you $30 every month? Lord, it's been some time since my last confession. Last confession since my last confession. But you know, but you know that <laughs> he had to learn a lesson. Lord, what's a girl to do? Lord, Lord. Love